Today, I'd like to share a crawler scissor lift with you. It's also a highly functional piece of equipment. Hope you all will like it. This equipment enables flexible in situ steering or small radius turning, making it suitable for operations in narrow spaces such as indoor corridors and corners or scenarios with dense obstacles such as factory workshops and warehouse shelving areas. This equipment is equipped with wear-resistant rubber tracks or steel tracks compared with traditional wheeled equipment. It has a larger ground contact area and lower pressure, enabling stable driving on complex terrains such as muddy grounds, sandy areas, gravel roads, and grasslands with low risk of slipping or getting stuck. The scissor type structure design provides vertical lifting stability and avoids the risk of rollovers, which is especially suitable for hoisting heavy objects at heights or precise positioning. The working height covers for meters to over 20 meters, meeting various needs from low altitude maintenance such as ceiling inspections to high altitude operations such as building exterior wall construction and tree trimming. Here is the specific usage method of this equipment. Before using the equipment, you need to turn on these two switches first. Then turn on this emergency stop button. Then turn on this red button on the upper platform and you can start operating. This is a document box which can store some materials. This is the power hub of the upper platform which is dust proof and waterproof. When not in use, just fasten the lid. This is for controlling walking and turning left or right. When this light is on, it means it can be operated. These four keys correspond to four outriggers respectively. When operating, you must press the middle key first and then the key that needs to be adjusted to control the lifting of the outrigger. This is a horn. This is for lifting. When it stays continuously lit, you can manipulate the handle to press downward and the equipment will start to rise. Conversely, when controlling the handle to press upward, keep your finger pressing the button at the back of the handle and the equipment will slowly descend. 